Hi, I'm Margie Rambers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises from our advanced course uh, from Section 1, Lesson 3, which is about job tracking and projects, two um, similar but different features in QuickBooks Online. Um, there are two exercises in this lesson, and the one that we're going to be covering today, which is um, creating reports with sub-customers, is critical. You have to know how to do this. You have to know the ins and outs of this um, for the test. The other uh, exercise that I'll do in a separate video is about projects, and it's really just for you to get a feel for how projects works. Um, it's not as critical as this lesson today about subcustomers. Now, um, just be aware that this is a long lesson. Uh, this is a long exercise, and it consists of four parts. You do have to do all four parts um, in one sitting, one session of the sample company, because the sample company resets after you leave, and there's you know a lot of setup to make this all happen. Um, if you would like a copy of this exercise or you'd like to find out about our courses, the links are in the description below. Uh, again, this is an advanced exercise. Uh, we do have a whole series of basic exercises as well, but I'm going to be going a little fast, so um, just be aware of that as I run through this, all right? So first, let's take a look at our scenario, or part one of our scenario anyway. One of Craig's customers, Freeman Sporting Goods, has just acquired a new location. They will be renting the empty lot next to the local high school and will be setting up temporary tents whenever there is a home game. They have con contracted with Craig to make sure the shrubbery is cleaned up and the grass is mowed so that they can easily move at the tent and set up when necessary. They have decided that their Ocean View Road location will manage this and pay any bills incurred for the new lot. But Craig wants to track his income and expenses for this separately. How would you set this up for him? All right, so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to log in to the sample company. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already got it set up. And we have to next create a high school lot customer that is a sub-customer of the Oceans View Road location. So I'm going to go to sales and customers. Create a new customer. The name of this is simply going to be the high school lot. And then right here, I wanna make sure that I check is sub customer. Now remember, part of our scenario was that um, Ocean, this Ocean View uh, lot, oh, let me put that in here, Ocean View, this Ocean View location is going to be handling all of the billing. So you want to make sure that this is billed with parent so that any bills associated or any invoices associated with uh, this high school lot property get taken care of by the Ocean View Road uh, location. We'll see that a little bit later. All right. So I'm going to click save. So that is our scenario part one. Let's take a look at scenario part two, which is Craig bought $100 worth of fertilizer. Well, let me take that off. Craig bought $100 worth of fertilizer from Tanya's nursery that will be dedicated to the high school lot. Then he went over and did the initial clearing of the lot, which he charged $350 for. How would you record these two transactions? All right. So in order to uh, do this, first, let me hop over to the uh, to the um, uh let me hop over to the sample company. Um, now, in order to do this, you do have to make sure that um, you have the ability to track expenses with associated with a customer. Now, in the sample company, that is already turned on, but let me go ahead and show you where that is. So under account and settings, if I go to my expenses tab, 
you'll see right here it says track expenses and items by customer. That has to be turned on in order for this to work. It's already on in the sample company, so you don't have to worry about it as part of the exercise. Uh, but what we do need to do is we need to create the expense for that fertilizer purchase. So we are going to go ahead and hit the new button, create an expense. Right. And we went to Tanya's nursery and we bought $100 worth of fertilizer. Is it 100? Yep, 100. Okay. All right, and then right here is where we're gonna indicate that it's for that high school lot. So right there, high school lot, okay? And then I just click save and close. Uh, and remember to put the high school lot, all right. Then the next thing we need to do is we're gonna send that invoice for that clearing that we did. So we're gonna to go to new invoice. The customer is our high school lot. And let's see, that is installation, we'll just say installation, initial clearing, and we charge $350 for that, okay? And now we're going to just hit save and close. All right, so we've created the subcustomer. We have an expense associated with that subcustomer. We have income associated with that customer. So now let's take a look at our next scenario, scenario part three, which is, if I can get it up, there we go. Craig would like to see a report showing his profitability so far for the new high school lot job. Compared to the other Freeman Sporting Goods location, how would you create this report? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create a profit and loss. Uh, back to our sample company, we're gonna go to reports. And there is already a profit and loss by customer. So we don't have to uh, deal with that. Where did it go? There it is, profit and loss by customer. So if I select that one, you will notice that all of the different customers are, are uh, the column headings here. But he wants to look at only the Freeman's, um, the Freeman ones. So we're going to click Customize, which is up here at the top. And then under the Filter option right here, we're gonna select only the Freeman locations. Don't get confused with the term location because it's different. This is not locations as in locations, different locations for Craig, like the East and West, like we saw in a different exercise. Um, this is locations of his clients. So we're gonna have Freeman right here, all of those, and then we're going to click Run Report. Okay, all right, and so now we can see that the column headings are now um, each of those different Freeman things, and you can see the high school lot here is right there. There's the $350 um, that we charged them for the clearing, and then this $100 that we bought fertilizer for. All right, so there's one more step. So let's take a look at the fourth part of our scenario. Craig would like to see a report showing his profitability of all products on just the Freeman Sporting Goods locations, how would you edit your report to show this, okay? So let's head back over to our uh, sample company. So right now, we have selected, we are only looking at the Freeman Sporting Goods locations, but at the top here, we have um, those different specific locations, not the products and services. So what we can do is we can, in the top section right here, let me just scroll up a little bit so you can see it. It says display columns by, 
And right now it's set to customers, but I can change this to products and services. Then when I do that, I click run report. And now we have all of his different products and services. Those are the columns. And then these are the totals. Remember, we're filtered by just the Freeman Sporting Goods locations. And the, the report doesn't indicate that. So it would be a good idea in real life to change the, uh, the title up here so that we know exactly what we're looking at. All right, so that's it for this lesson. If you found this exercise helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified about future videos and exercises that we have available, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And if you have any questions about this lesson, uh, about our courses, or if there is something, another exercise that you would like practice, something you would like practice doing, make sure that you comment below. And, uh, and that's it for today. I will see you next time.